multi-tool. Check that out. Painted in uh, 1884 by Mr. George B. Gable out of Nebraska. This is a genuine 12 in one tool for uh, quote household use. Now uh, 12 in one might be a bit generous as he counts some of the some of the features on this device twice but uh, from the top we've got a hatchet, we've got a hammer, we got a nail puller, a little notch there, uh, we got some pliers, uh, he also counts this as a nutcracker, a screwdriver which is also counted as a uh, stove door regulator, you know the old stoves are the thing, um, a uh, a lid lifter or a stove lid lifter which is also a tack puller a pot hook and uh, on this uh, jut out here uh, this has two functions which I'm gonna leave as a bit of a mystery uh, fans of the channel might be able to guess uh, at least one of the functions of this mystery device but it's it's pretty special so I'll leave it to announce at the end um, shout out to, to all the new subscribers, welcome to you all. Um, if you're not familiar, we, uh, we uh, introduce this tool, then we go and see if we can make it, and then uh, at the end, uh, check the chapters below, we, uh, we do a review of this tool and, and see if it's, if it's something you might want to make at home, <laughs> perhaps. Um, I'm not immediately sure how I'm going to tackle this one. Um, there's sure a lot of odd features on here, uh, but let's go ahead and, and see if I can make it.
Yeehaw. I apologise in advance. I haven't really had a chance to do much uh, hand finishing on this one. I uh, ran a bit short of time. I'm trying to maintain this, uh, this upload schedule here. Uh, first things first, I'm certainly no welder. That's for sure. Uh, but you know, practice makes perfect and all that. Uh, this is definitely one of those tools where uh, where it was certainly intended or designed to be cast in uh, in a couple of pieces, uh, and that would have uh, probably so, uh, saved me a whole bunch of frustration. But um, not really the point of this channel. <laughs> uh, this was the first time that I used the um, the annular cutter uh, to make a, a stud on the other side of this jaw here. Uh, to fit into a, a hole in the uh, in the other arm um, that worked quite well uh, if you're going to do that uh, just be sure to cut with the uh, the stud with the the annular brooch uh, before you bore the hole uh, I made the mistake of, of boring the hole first and um, that inner diameter on those um, annular cutters it's not a uh, not exact science on those things, so there was a little bit of play in this arm, but um, it still worked out worked out pretty well. Um, so what do we think of this thing? Uh, well, I can certainly see what Mr. Gable's going for, um, uh, throwing in as as many elements as possible onto the onto the one tool, but uh, I mean. I mean, it's just too much, isn't it? This thing looks like a some kind of freaking fever dream. I mean, it's nuts. Um, I'm starting to get convinced that uh, that anybody with a with a bottle cap could register a patent back in the 1800s. Um, this thing's this thing's just insane. I mean, as far as functionality, I mean, it's way too heavy. That may just be, you know how long I chose to make it. Uh, as we've said before, these, these diagrams are not to, to any kind of scale and there's no dimensions that are actually given. So I try to keep everything relatively proportional, um, but it is mostly just freehand. Um, I think if the handles were cast, um, they'd, be, they'd be a little bit more, more comfortable to hold. You can see I've got some pretty sharp ridges on there, so they could do with some rounding off. You know, all in all, not not wildly uncomfortable. Um, throwing the 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 plier nutcrackers on here, uh, yeah, that's that's wild. That's crazy. Um, as for this knobby bit, apart from uh, maybe turning this into the world's first two-handed hatchet. Chop chop. This does of course serve duty as a boot jack. So for those of you not in the know, a boot jack is a device that sits on the floor. You kick your heel in this end and it assists you in, in taking off your boots. Um, I mean, why the heck not? Uh, the other function listens for this is a box holder. I have no idea what that means or how it would function. Uh, there's a link to the patent details down below in the description. If you think you know the function of a box holder, uh, what that would have been in 1884, um, and how it relates to, to, to this tool, uh, please let us all know down below because I'm a bit at a loss there. Overall, this is another example of a tool trying way too much. I mean, yeah, they all they all kind of work. I mean, I'm not sure I want to be screwing with this screwdriver here with all of this on the back end. Uh, but they work, but uh, it's not not something uh, I'd be running out and buying. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button below. Uh, if you want to see more of these videos, hit the subscribe. And uh, please feel free to leave a comment 
uh, always love a good discussion. Uh, so I'll uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.